take another example. I want to find determinant of this matrix A. Now I will use the, I will uh, going to open it for the first column instead of first row as in the last example. So I can say here my determinant of A is equal to A11, C11, A21, C21 and A31, C31. We write the cofactors of A11. For say A11, A11 is 1. For the cofactor of A11, the sign is plus because a11, the sign get I, I C11 will be 1 plus 1 is plus sign. So what we'll get, we are going to take the first column. So we say we block this column. And then we are going to block this row. What do you get? 1, 2, 3, 1. So I'll get here 1, 2, 3, 1. Then next is we get here A12, A12, C1, C21. C21, 2 plus 1 is 3. So get minus sign, minus 2 into cofactor of that one. This is gone, get 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1. Then A3, 1, A3, 1 is 4, plus 4 into the cofactor. We block this row, block this column, what's left? 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2. So I solve it. Again, we use, use here, then we multiply here. These two uh, diagonals plus sign, and these were with the minus sign. So I'll get here 1. Multiply by 1 minus 6, minus 2 multiply by 2 minus 9, plus 4 multiply by 4 minus 3. So simplify this one. 1 minus 6 is minus 5, then 2 is minus 7, plus 4 into 1. We simplify this one, we get here minus 5 plus 14 plus 4 is equal to minus 5 plus 18. We get the value of determinant is equal to 13. So I have shown you that we can open from the first column. As I told you, we open from any column, open from any row, we'll get here the result. The second thing which we just discussed, that's the factor, cofactors. We have just discussed the cofactors. And this we call the method of cofactor for finding the determinant of matrix. The C11, C11, A21, C21, plus A13, C3. We can apply this one. We have a four by four matrix. For example, I have matrix A, A is four by four matrix. And we can write here uh, A is A is 4 by 4 matrix. And we want to write the cofactor for this one. We have matrix A. Matrix A is A11, A12, A13, A14, A21, A22, A23, A24. And we're having A31, A32, A33, A34. And the last one is A41, A42, A43, and A44. So as usual, I open from the first row. I get here determinant of A. I have here A11, C11, A12, C12, A13, C13, A14, C14. So my Cij is equal to minus 1 to power i plus j into m i j. So I can write here my a11, a11, and I'm having here c11. What is my c11? I'm taking the first row. So I block this whole row because all the values coming here. I, I block the first column. I get here a22, a23, a24, a32, a33, A34, I'm having A42, A43, A44. Then the important thing which I want to tell you that if I take A12, so 1 plus 2, we get minus sign. So we get here this minus A12, multiply cofactor. Then we're having A13, A13. Uh, here by A12, we block this column, A21, A23, and so on. A13, we block this column, we get A21, A22, A24, but sign, sign is 1 plus 3 is plus sign. So we get here A13 into cofactor of this one. Next is A4, A14. So A14, we put 1 plus 4 is 5, so we get minus A14 into our determinant. So we get here these values, A11, say A11, C11, A12, C12, A13, C13. Are we going to find it? For A14, C14, we block this column, this row, then this will be our 
uh, nine numbers that give us the determinant of the atom. We can solve it. So, uh, as I told you, we can take any row, we can take any column. So, what do we do? We search for the row which is having maximum zero. So, we multiply by zero, that becomes zero. So, we don't need to uh, find all the determinant which are three by three. We are going to four by four and we can just solve it very easily. So, I give you the example for this. So, before I solve this example, the example is find determinant of matrix A is given to us is four by four. We use the idea. I want to say one thing that uh, I have the notes in my uh, in the description and uh, the link for that one. You just click the link and you get the notes for the determinants. You'll get more examples, uh, solved examples also and more problems also and more ideas. Number one. Number two, you uh, just uh, like this one, like, like the video, subscribe it and uh, press the bell icon so that you get the notification for the new videos we are making for you. So please do it, yeah? this is for you. And also for practice, I would like to say you see in the, so in, the, in the notes, you take the example, solve it yourself and then compare it with the, uh, your solution with the example solution. If you find it's uh, right, Alhamdulillah, if not, then you can repeat that one. So the videos are very nice to learn because you can repeat it anytime you any a number of time as you like till it is clear to you and you're going very slow so that you'll be able to understand that one okay well come come to the solution of the problem we are just written four by four matrix we want to solve it so and number one number two uh, number three i want to say one more thing when you want to solve the problem look on the problem spend about 10 to 15 seconds just to look on the problem and make the idea in your mind that how you can solve it how you can solve it more easily what are the possibilities when you look at this one then we can see the first row that contains one zero. The second row contains two zero. So as I told you, we can open the determinant from any row we like. So we will open this determinant from the last row from here. So I can write here my determinant of A will be equal to, my determinant of A is equal to A41, C41 plus A42, C42 plus A43, C43 and plus A44, C44. Now, if I compare this one, so this value is 0, this value is 0. This mean here A2442 is 0, so this will be 0. Then we having here A440, then this value is 0. So we'll be left with only these two terms, which are non-zero, and it's not non-zero. Now look on the signs of that one. Look on the signs of that one. Then you can see it here, what's the sign of C4, C4, C41? That is equal to 1 plus 4 is 5, sine is minus. Then we have C43, against 343, the sine is minus because here 4 plus 3 is 7 and minus 1 to power 7 is minus. So we are we can write here our determinant of matrix A, determinant of matrix A is equal to, now we are taking here this uh, row, the last row. So this is blocked. Then 1 is coming in the first row. Uh, our first column so a 1 into a 3 by 3 and here we get minus sign so what we get we block this column we get 1 to 5 1 2 5 and get here minus 1 2 3 minus 1 2 3 I get here 2 1 5 2 1 5 then we having 0 this will become 0 the second will be become 0 because multiply by 0 becomes 0 then we have it, uh, a 4 3 is a minus uh, we get here minus sign minus 4 into the determinant of this one now the cofactor of 4 we get minus and we block this column we get 0 1 5 0 1 5 I get here 2 minus 1 and 3 2 minus 1 and 3 then I will get here 3 2 and 5 3 2 and 5 now I solve this determinant when I solve it, I'll get here this equal to minus 1, the value of the determinant is 4, and then we having here minus 4, and we have the value of this determinant is 34. So we can just simplify this one, we get here minus 4, minus uh, 136, and the result of this one is uh, minus 140. So we don't need to solve the four determinants, 3 by 3 determinants, we solve only Two because the cofactor of zero multiplied the cofactor will be zero. Zero multiplied the cofactor will be zero. Only left are two. That's why we select the last row to open the determinant. We want to solve this example. Find all values of lambda for which determinant of a is zero. 
or the matrix A is equal to this matrix. So we say determinant equation, this one has. We want to solve it. Where the A is given, we solve, we find the determinant of A, put that equal to 0, we'll get the solution, the values of lambda. So you can see it here. Our first column we take, our first row, we are having 0 and 0. This means we get only one non-zero values, this A11, C11. So we're having here determinant of A, we can write this one as determinant of A is uh, determinant of A is equal to A11, C11, plus A12, C12, plus A13, C13. So we get here A11, C11, and this here is 0, and here is uh, also 0. When I write C12, then become minus. When I write the determinant of that, here we have the formula. So we left with the only A11, C11. So it's my A11. My A11 is lambda minus 4. Where's my C11 plus sign? Because 1 plus 1 is even. You get here lambda and 2 and get here 3 lambda minus 1. So you solve this one. We get here lambda minus 4 and we get inside lambda into lambda minus 1 minus 6. We simplify this one. We get here, this has lambda minus 4, lambda minus 4. We use the bracket because we know this multiply with whole value. So we get here this equal to lambda square minus lambda minus 6. We factorize this one, we get here lambda minus 4. We go to get two factors, multiply, we get minus 6, add, we get minus 1. It's lambda plus 2 into lambda minus 3. When you multiply, we get minus 6. When you add, get minus 1. So we are given here, we want to solve the determinant of the equation. Determinant of A is 0. Then put here determinant of A is equal to 0. That's mean here we get lambda minus 4 into lambda plus 2 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0. This is given the value of lambda. Lambda is equal to 4. Lambda is equal to minus 2. And lambda is equal to 3. So that's my solution. So we can take here some notes. For example, I'm having here the matrix A, and here the one row of this matrix A is 0. I get A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. We can write determinant of this one immediately. We say determinant of this one is equal to 0, because one row is 0, so determinant of this is equal to 0. If any row is 0, or any column is 0, determinant will be equal to Zero so is very easy to say immediately. We'll discuss some more things which are related with the uh, evaluation. Here we have evaluating by the cofactors. We can evaluate by using the row operations, and that's for next discussion.